Skip it up and that up. I got like a billion requests for it, both on my new RTU music channel and on Review Tech USA, and here it is. This is my workstation 3.0 uh, quick tour. Not too much to show, but I'll explain to you the war story I had last night first. So here's the machine micro I've been on this desk over here. It's like the perfect height. They have a stand for the machine, but it's like $70 for a piece of metal. I, I just, I, I can't justify that. So, first thing I installed last night was the machine. Thinking it's the smallest piece of hardware, it's simple to do. Um, so, I go install the software, plug this in. Looks pretty, looks nice. But as I'm using it, I'm playing around with drums, loading samples, seeing how it works. It keeps resetting. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, it would go, it would, it would power off, turn back on, work for two seconds, power off again, turn back on. Eventually, the software that the machine comes with would lock up, so I'm like, uh, what's going on? So I go to reset my computer, which I just blew out, and there was like five pounds of dust in it. I've only didn't, it's only like four months, too, but there was a lot of dust, a lot of fans, a lot of dust. Anyway, so I reset the computer, and it goes into Windows. But no USB devices were recognized. I'm like, what the shit? Did my motherboard just crap out? Am I having power, power issues on my motherboard? So I had to hard reset it with the actual button in the front. Couldn't even tell it to just go right into Windows when it came up with, hey, Windows was shut down unexpectedly. So I turn it on again. I'm like, what is going on? Did the machine micro just destroy my computer? Because I actually had a... A USB device, uh, a keyboard a while back, I mean there was something obviously wrong with the power supply in my old PC build, but as soon as I plugged that in, motherboard was dead, so I'm thinking, oh my god, the power supply in here is bad, even though it's a really good power supply, what happened? So I'm looking at my screen, just like perplexed, nothing is working, I take the wireless dongle for the mouse, plug it in the front, it's not recognizing it, I'm like, what is going on? And all of a sudden I look over... Luckily I did, at the Hall Pog HD PVR2, and the light on it was blinking erratically. I'm like, what the fuck is that about? I've never seen it do that before. I unplug this, everything's working. This is working perfectly. Mouse, wireless mouse is recognized, keyboard's working fine. So, Hall Pog, on a side note, I have to I owe you a little bit of an apology. This is defective. It's not that your product sucks. I'm going to email you, we'll discuss something in private, um, I'm not looking for a freebie. I'll even send this one back to you, you could send me another one to review, I'll just review it and send that one back to you. I'm not looking to get a freebie out of it, but maybe there were just a issues with this one. Even though I had it forever and nothing was ever wrong with it and it's been connected to a search protector, but anyway. Issue number two that I had. This keyboard, I bought a... USB to MIDI device. It's just you only hook up one MIDI device, and so the guy at the store, nice guy. He's the one who sold me on this keyboard. Um, he's he said, hey, if you're only hooking up one MIDI device, buy this, and he gave me like seventy percent off on it. Like it was like eighty bucks for this one MIDI cable, which was retarded. He got it to me for like twenty. Um, anyway, so I hook up MIDI back here. Plug we'll plug in the device here first. Recognizes the MIDI device right away. Plug it in back here. Go into Acid Pro, and in the machine software, nobody's home. I'm hitting keys all day, not recognizing it. I found the global MIDI settings, made sure the channels are right, make sure all the parameters are right. Still, nobody's home. Still a mild concern to me. I don't think there's anything wrong with this. I think there's just something wrong with the cable. But I'm going to go there to the shop today that I bought this from, and be like, hey, dude, could you hook up like? Um, with this cable, could you hook up a MIDI device to it and see if it works? Because if it does work, then that means there might be something wrong with this keyboard, but I doubt it. So, that's not working. What I read in the manual is that the USB on this acts as a MIDI transmitter and receiver. It's all it's there for. You don't use anything else with the MIDI, as far as the guy on Korg told me on the phone, too. So, I, last night, I'll get to that guy on the phone in a second. I, last night, you know, set up, get the uh, Korg driver, Install it on my computer, plug in the cord, recognizes it, no problem. Then I go back into Acid, which keep in mind, everyone, this is an older version of Acid, but it, it works with everything. It worked with the machine right away. 
the VST plugins that came with the machine, Acid recognizes those. It, re it works with everything. It's all I love Acid Pro 7. It's rock solid. I go to the MIDI preferences in Acid, hit, you know, select the Korg. No, actually, no, I'm sorry. The Korg wasn't even there. So I'm like, okay, the driver's installed perfectly. Why isn't it even there? So I go to bed really pissed off and frustrated last night. I had hell with this thing, even though it wasn't the machine's fault. And this thing was giving me problems. So I'm like, I I'm ready. If you saw my post on Facebook last night, I was ready to just bring all this crap back and just get Fruity Loops and call it a day. Even though I wouldn't have been satisfied with it. So I call up Korg today and I say, hey, man. You know, I tried the USB driver, I installed it, it installed perfectly, I don't think it's anything wrong with the keyboard, what's going on, why is my DAW not recognizing it? Digital Audio Workstation is what that stands for. And he was like, I know, he's like, I know what happened. In, you have a Windows machine, right? I'm like, yeah, and I didn't know this. He says, Windows can only have 10 devices, I believe, if I'm wrong about this, please correct me because I never heard of it before. You can call me a noob if you want to. Windows can only have 10 devices installed per USB port. I'm like, okay. Or in general. He's like, we actually have a tool built into the, the uh, Korg software that I could show you that could get rid of useless devices to open up some addresses on your USB ports. I'm like, okay. So I go in there. There's like a Korg Nano key. It's a little chintzy keyboard I used to use. There's some other crap. There's the broken USB device, which I'm hoping that's what's broken, not the actual keyboard. I install all that, uninstall all that, excuse me, reinstall it, uh, reinstall the, the uh, Core Chrome USB driver, and all as well. As you see on here, if I hit a key, that's you, that's, that's a MIDI track, and it recognizes it, and if I record, which I already tried, it plays back exactly what notes I laid down, la, 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 and it plays it right back. So yeah. Um, last, this weekend was hell, that's why I took the weekend off, I knew it was gonna be hell. And there we go, so I'll show you around my workstation real quick. This is a Korg Chrome 61 key, um, it's the same as the 88 key weighted key workstation, but it just is, uh, smaller and doesn't have weighted keys. You know, so that's it. I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. This is my computer. For people who are new and want to know the specs, it's a Core i7-3770K, uh, GeForce GTX 670 for the win of edition by EVGA, 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, 16 gigabytes of RAM, like 4 terabytes of storage, 128 gigabyte SSD boot drive, and yeah, that's it. This is a uh, Behringer Onyx, I believe, mixer. I've had this forever, but I have had no use, to, use for it. I gotta lower the volume on this, too much gain. Um, had this forever, never needed, had a need for it until now. Now I really need it, because I have this mic going into here. I have the keyboard going into here. I have two different outputs. I have one for my TV, for the little box right here, and one for my computer. So if I need to switch back and forth when I'm recording footage for YouTube, yeah, I've already talked about that a thousand times. Um, old realistic speakers. I'm going to get passive monitors at the end of this month. Uh, these actually have really accurate sound, though. They're not too bassy, not too high, pretty flat. That's why my mixes come out pretty good. Um, old ghetto Hans G monitor. I have a second one of these, uh, but I have that in my bedroom, and this is fine just for a quick preview of video. Colors on it are fairly accurate. Um, I may get another. They have these again for 140 I may get another one just for shits and giggles. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this is my Insignia Best Buy Special Monitor. Nothing special. Full 1080p. Um, it works great, though. I have no complaints about this. The color uh, reproduction is accurate. It looks great with games. looks great with video. I like it. Some people don't. I enjoy it. PlayStation 3. It's a, I think it's a 250 gigabyte PlayStation 3. I got a... Oh yeah, which I reviewed. You'll know from my review, I, I I love it. I say that with as much sarcasm as possible. Wii U. This is a portable turntable made by Crosley. I shit you not. Let me see if I can pop this open real quick. I haven't used it in a while. Uh, I have a huge record store, I mean, which I may wipe the dust off this thing. 
This is battery powered, AC powered, and has an FM transmitter on it. So if you want to go dig through crates at a record store and hear if there's good samples, you can just take this with you, pop in a pair of headphones. It's a portable record player. It's fucking awesome. Another speaker. We you uh, gamepad, my games and crap behind there, nothing special, and my machine micro. That's it, guys. <laughs> uh, my bedroom is where the laptop's at right now, the gaming laptop, and that's really it. Uh, down here I have my compressor. That's the under that is a Belkin surge protector. Above that is a redesigned amplifier by my father. Uh, it's nothing. The amp was originally nothing special, but it's actually a really good amp. I don't know what he modeled it after. I'll have to ask him. And a phone. The most exciting part of this whole workstation tour. So let me take a step back so you can see it from a distance. Man, I really need to step back. That's what happens when you get more crap. And there it is, guys. This is where I make your videos, make some music, and watch some porn. Shirtless. This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. I'm just kidding about the shirtless part. Usually I have nipple tassels on. Have a good one.